Well, I was uh, turning my compost pile today and discovered a, a little unexpected gift. Uh, it's, this is what appears to be a puffball mushroom. Now, uh, puffballs, um, there's a lot of different varieties, but there, as far as my research has, has shown, there's no known uh, poisonous puffballs. So it makes puffballs a really safe target for new uh, mushroom, wild mushroom hunters. And they're very tasty, they're very good. So I'm going to show you real quick uh, the process for making sure. There are some, there is one uh, mushroom that is deadly poisonous and there are several others that are mildly poisonous that in their early stages of growth can look like a, a puffball. But uh, it's real easy to tell the difference. So I'm just kind of cleaning this off a little bit with cold water first. And the thing about a puffball is um, when you cut it in half right down the center, it, the inside is uh, continuous and spongy all the way through. And if it's white like this one is, this is an edible puffball. And uh, this is going in my next meal because these are really tasty. If it were the poisonous kind, when you cut it in half like that, you would see a stem and gills and the, the, uh, the top of the mushroom in its primordial stage. And uh, I'll see if I can find an, another mushroom to, to slice so you can see what that would look like to have a comparison. Found some more um, puffballs and I wanted to point out, uh, you can see this hole here. There's another hole. There's actually several holes on this, which means it's gotten worms in it. And I haven't opened it up yet. I'm going to do that in just a second when I get the tripod set up. Uh, so I'll have my hands free, but I suspect that this one has gone past its prime. Here's the original one I found. You can see how white and creamy it is. This one, um, which I only found half of, I apparently cut it in half with a shovel, um, looks like it may be past its prime. It's, um, if you do a side-by-side -side comparison, you can see it's getting darker and it's starting to get dark, particularly in the middle. That means it's getting ready to sporulate. And when it reaches this point, I wouldn't eat it, it only if it's creamy white. This would probably, if I was starving to death, I'd eat this. Once they go past a certain point, though, then they start becoming uh, something that will make you nauseous. All right, so I'm going to slice it open now. Um, this, of course, is the test both to see if it is actually a puffball or something else. Yeah, okay, this one is definitely past its prime. Again, here's a good one for a side-by-side -side comparison and you can see how much darker it is. It looks uh, kind of greenish. And what this means is is that the spores inside are forming and pretty soon this will, you know, do turn into the powder that you see come out of puffballs that are fully um, sporulated. That little those little puffs are spores. The reason I have these in my uh, I believe that I have these in my compost pile is because I have uh, harvested wild puffballs in the past, cut them open, found them to be too far gone to eat, and thrown them in the compost pile. And so apparently they have taken hold, which is happy day. All right, I don't think I'm going to be able to find a, a puffball look-alike that's a different kind of mushroom, but um, trust me when I say that when you slice them open, the difference is instantly obvious. I've gone ahead and sliced this up into... Uh, a little bit thinner than quarter inch slices and I'm just going to saute it real quick in some butter since I don't really have enough to um, eat very much or, you know, to make a meal out of. An important thing uh, to mention about wild harvesting mushrooms is that most mushrooms um, are not edible raw. They need to be cooked. Uh, one of their natural defense mechanisms, I suppose, um, is they have a a mild toxin that will, if you eat them raw, will make you nauseous, will make most people nauseous and animals. Uh, but if you heat them to 100 and, I think it's 160 degrees, um, that enzyme breaks down and then they're completely edible. So it's important to always cook uh, wild harvested mushrooms in particular. The ones that they sell you at the store usually can be eaten uh, cold or cooked, raw or cooked, but um, anything else 
I would uh, definitely cook first. There you have it. Okay, I've let them cool and uh, mm, it's just like candy. Mm, 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 mm. And the cool thing about preparing them this way is the butter has absorbed some of the flavor. So if I cook something in this like an egg or whatever, it will have some of the flavor of the mushroom, which is incredibly good.